What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today, like the title says, we are making Vietnamese egg coffee. Now I know the whole internet has been blowing up with this Delgona coffee craze. Stop it. Get some help. And it's kind of been driving me a little bit crazy because this is a better coffee option. It's just as easy, uses just as few ingredients, and it's just a super simple, delicious drink to make. So let's put it together. I don't have the traditional Vietnamese coffee dripper that would be used for this, so I'm gonna use the mocha pot because what you wanna do is create a coffee that's a really highly concentrated condensed coffee. You know, espresso may work for this, but I want to be a little more diluted than that, and I think the mocha pot makes a nice dense cup of coffee. You know, a really heavy ratioed French press or AeroPress would also be acceptable. I'm gonna use 15 grams of coarsely ground coffee in this mocha pot. I'm making sure I have a nice flat bed, but I'm not compressing it at all. Then I'm going to screw on the top. Make sure you use a towel for this step because we're gonna use preheated water. That's important to getting the best quality cup out of your mocha pot. Once it's on the burner, you wanna put it on medium to low heat, open the top, and we're gonna wait for the flow. At the beginning, you'll see this foam texture come out and then it'll switch to coffee. You wanna wait for it to fill up about an inch to inch and a quarter. It'll start making like gurgling sound when it starts emptying. You wanna close the top and take it off heat. And next up, we're gonna separate two egg yolks using whatever method you wanna use. I use a strainer, but you can use the shell to shell method. We're going to take those egg yolks, place them in a bowl together, drop in two tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. You can add more or less depending on your flavor preferences. And then we're going to mix them together. You'll notice it starts out a pretty intense yellow and then really starts to lighten up. Once it reaches the texture of a pudding, you're good to go. Now we're gonna add our coffee in from the mocha pot. You can fill this to your desired level. I like to add just a little bit more coffee than the foam because I wanna make sure that the sweetness doesn't overpower the coffee. And next we're gonna pour in the foam using a spoon to make sure it sits on the surface of the coffee. Once you have a nice thin layer, you can just pour the foam directly on top and it should create nice, clean, beautiful layers of coffee and egg foam. From this point, you can enjoy it in those two very distinct layers of egg foam and coffee, or if you'd like, you can mix them together. Over time, the coffee does break down the egg foam, so I think they're better mixed personally, and it still creates this very beautiful, velvety, clean top, which is just so sweet and just so delicate, but it also adds to the deliciousness and the balance of the sweet from the condensed milk to the bitter of the coffee and then the texture that it creates using the yolks. It's just all together a delicious experience that should just be enjoyed. So in the end, if the Dalgona coffee craze left a bad taste in your mouth, both literally and figuratively speaking, give this one a shot. I know the two words together, egg and coffee, just sound kind of weird to most of us, but I think that they come together beautifully in this drink, and it's probably one of the favorite recipes I've done in quite a while. So give it a shot. It's super simple, super easy. You don't have a whole lot to lose, but also remember that consuming raw eggs can cause problems. So if you're not comfortable doing that, obviously don't do it. But in my opinion, we eat things that are much worse on a very regular basis. So dive in, check it out, and definitely let me know your thoughts if you get a chance to try it or if you've tried it in the past. And a big thank you to my May Patreon supporters, Ads, James B, David, Hamad, Christopher, John K, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Thomas B, Andre, Rick Racer, Sean, Joey, Thomas S, Noel, Spookus, Bow Coffee, Mika, Samantha, Nathan, Aiden, Jonathan, Claire, Steven, James K, Josh, Andrew, Ollie, Ninja Warrior Coffee, and Testing123. And of course, a big thank you to my barista and barback tiers. If you want any information on the Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow me on Instagram at Spermetheus, my blog at Spermetheus.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.